welcome to the explanation so in today's video i'm going to cover a question from front of Holtran. so the question is evaluate the gregory levin series for the first 25 terms using Fortran or in Fortran. so you can see this the series is like this pi equals to 4 small bracket 1 minus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 5 minus 1 by 7 plus 1 by 9 minus and same the series goes on okay so we have to solve this question for 25 terms this is first term second term third term like this 25 terms and after the calculation of this uh, sum of these terms the value of pi should come okay so we know that the value of pi is 3.1815 uh, 76 something okay so we are going to solve this question so let me start I'll clear the canvas okay so we are going to solve this using Fortran so first thing what we are going to do is we'll write the name of program so I'm just going to write program Gregory Leibniz series okay now let's start with our uh, variables so i'm going to take the variables as real because the value of pi is in term of real so one variable i'm going to declare as sum second variable i'm going to declare as term and third as pi initially i'm going to initialize the value of sum as zero okay i'm taking this in the terms of real number next is i'll use the loop so i'm going to use do loop so do this is the label okay this is the label which i'm going to use so i hope you know the syntax of do loop in fortran so this is the label 5 and or let me take as 500 okay this is just the label you can take it as anything any number i'll start my loop which is from i equals to 1 to 25 and increment by 1 okay so my loop starts the value of i will start from 1 it will go till 25 and the value of i will increase by 1 next i'm going to calculate my term so term equals to minus 1 and its power double star means power i plus 1 divide by this is 1 divide by 2 into i minus 1 okay after that this calculates all the terms okay so first term is calculated the value of i is 1 so first term is calculated after that we are going to add it in sum so sum equals to sum plus term okay so like this the loop continues till here so we are writing it as continue okay so this is my loop okay so value of i becomes 1 term is calculated for value of i equals to 1 and it is added in sum again the value of i becomes 2 here the term is calculated for i equals to 2 it is added in sum in same way it is done till 25 and after 25 we come here so after this what we are going to do is value of pi equals to as uh, okay the question was in previous so if you remember it was like pi equals to 4 and then the term was there so we are going to write here 4 uh, let's use dot zero. This dot zero is just for real, okay? Conversion of real into sum. Fine. So finally, we are going to print it. So write star star value of pi will equals to comma pi. Finally, I'll end it okay so after the solve after solving this question the value of pi should come as 3.14 something something okay this dot zero I'm, i have just used it just for type conversion for real number or float number okay now let me solve this part let me solve this part and show you how it is done so let's start for the value of i equals to 1 okay when the value of i is 1 so term will equals to minus 1 its power i plus 1 so what is value of i 1 so 1 plus 1 is 2 minus 1 to the power 2 divide by the value of i is 1 so 2 into i that is 1 is 2 minus 1 which is 1 hence the value becomes 1 
okay so if you saw the series in question it was like 1 minus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 5 minus 1 by 7 yeah so this term is done let's go to another term so the value of i becomes 2 now okay so minus 1 okay to the power i the value of i is 2 now so 2 plus 1 which is equals to 3 divide by 2 into i so our value of i is 2 it means 4 4 minus 1 is 3 okay so minus 1 to the power 3 will be equals to minus minus 1 divide by 3 okay see this minus 1 by 3 again the value of i becomes 3 okay so like this the series is generated and what we are doing in this term is we are going we are adding each term first of all one is there okay so some the value of sum becomes 1 next the term is 1 minus 1 by 3 so what happens here 1 minus 1 by 3 again plus 1 by 5 plus 1 by 5 in this way the terms are added till 25th term and the value becomes the value of pi okay so I hope you got this question if you have any uh, confusion you can comment below and I'll be starting with old question series from today so please be connected with us thank you and stay safe